Peace, peace, family. Peace, peace, family. Peace, peace, family. So who is Young Pharaoh? Young Pharaoh is a very influential figure, and he was very popular in 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You name it, those years, he was popular. He was popping off, right? When I first discovered Young Pharaoh, he was spitting straight facts, and I'm sure he helped a lot of people. When he first came out, he was adamant. Black woman is God. He was all about the black culture. Yo, nobody could tell Pharaoh nothing. He was all about that, uplifting his culture, uplifting the community in general. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? If other races want to uplift their community, they're totally entitled. I don't see that as a hateful thing. So how exactly did young Pharaoh get lost in the sauce? How did he fall from grace? Young Pharaoh, there was a specific shift, all right? And he was having a feud with his baby moms and the next chick. And it all shifted because young Pharaoh decided that he wanted to have a polygamous relationship. He wanted to have polygamy in his household when he had never brought this up to his girls before. This was an issue, right? And I, I've been telling dudes for years, like, yo, if you're about that polygamy thing, like, yo, just come out from the jump and lay it out. But a lot of these dudes, they're scared to lose the chick or they're so drunk in love, you know, drunk in love. They just want to get this chick and reel her in and then they're going to spring all type of business on her later. So he basically sprung this on her and, you know, he was getting money. He was he was growing and he started getting involved with some white chicks. He started getting fancy for the snow. You know, he was getting excited for some white chicks. I'm like, yo, I say it countless times. I got nothing against no I don't got nothing against white people. I grew up around exclusively white people. I ain't got nothing against white girls, but yo, I told Pharaoh, I'm like, yo, <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Cause a lot of, you see this a lot. A lot of these black dudes, right? That grew up in the hood, grew up in, I don't like to attribute black people with the hood or the ghettos, but in the U S a lot of the time, this is the reality, right? So in his community that he grew up in, he grew up around, you know, this kid, he grew up around black, black skin people. Right. And he didn't have no access to these quote unquote white girls, right? He was really exalting these white girls, right? He was exalting these chicks because this was something foreign to him. This was something new. He never experienced this. And me, right? In contrast, I grew up around exclusively like, yo, I'm from the, I'm from rich suburbs. I grew up around exclusively these people. I didn't have a scarcity of white chicks. I had an abundance. So for me, it's like, meh, whereas I have a scarcity of black chicks. And that's what I'm finna do. I'm gonna be like, yo, I might get with a fat black chick because I'm like, yo, she black. So I understand the psychology. I'm not browbeating nobody. I'm just trying to explain this because a lot of the time people are in a, like a, a loop. I see so many of these black dudes that are like, yo, I ain't a white girl, nah, 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 these black girls. And it's like kind of, it's like running away. They're running away from something. They're trying to, grass is always greener, right? On the other side. So from their perspective, they're like, yo, yo, these black chicks give me hell. I'm gonna go to these white girls because they seem soft and innocent and nice. And I'm just I'm just in Pharaoh's chat, like, bruh, yo, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. You think it's a safe haven over here with these white chicks? Like, yo, I've been through hell. I've been through straight hell. I'm like, yo, I love it. I'm not complaining, right? Bloom where you're planted, if you will, right? But I'm just like, yo, this grass is greener, like, yo, I'm going to white chicks exclusively and I'm done with black women. I'm like, yo, that's, it's fine and Danny to want to explore. Okay. You want to explore. Okay. Can't hate a guy for wanting to explore. I'm like, yo, you don't know what, you don't know what you're getting yourself into, bro. Like, yo, so I'm messaging him and I, I straight up sent him a DM and I'm like, dude, like, yo, on the reels, like, yo, I don't think you know what you're saying. <laughs> so anyway, he didn't listen. I tried to say, I tried to say Pharaoh. I tried to say Pharaoh, y'all. I tried, but he didn't listen. He went his own, he went his own way, did his own thing. And in the end, he got with this white chick. I don't know who, I don't know where she came from, right? She came out the wood, like, for real. Like, she came out the woods. And, like, yo, Pharaoh started doing rituals with this chick. He started doing some type of yoga with this chick. And, yo, this, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is a scrub from the internet. Like, you cannot find this. This is not, this stuff does not exist on the internet anymore. If you try searching young Pharaoh out with this chick, yo, it's like she disappeared. It's spooky like I don't even, I don't even know how I feel talking about this so he got with this chick and next thing you know Pharaoh was all the way left like I don't mean left wing like Pharaoh went left like he went left field you know Pharaoh was finished finished yo the next streams Pharaoh hopped on everybody getting shot and if you was working in there that day you getting shot I don't give a f 
Yo, he had like a zombie demonic look in his eyes and he was just repeating himself. He was like a broken record. And I'm like, yo, this dude, like, I don't know what I'm like, yo, something happened with this chick. What's special about my experience is I grew up with exclusively white folk. I grew up with these people. And I can tell you growing up, like there was no ghetto in or amongst my family. Zero. Zero percent ghetto going on, right? And despite all that, I would meet certain people. First time I'm meeting them, Caucasians, whatever. You know, some some peers, people my age, they would make some uh, racial stereotypes or some stereotypical jokes. And what's funny about that is I didn't even catch on to the context of these jokes because I never grew up in that. It wasn't my culture. And a lot of these ideas are kind of injected through movies and television. And I didn't grow up as a child watching movies or television unless it was educational stuff. You know, so because my family kept me away from that. I was watch. I wasn't watching like programming, if you will. I wasn't watching no type of shows that were giving me an idea of what I should act like because of my skin color. But the thing is, the white kids that I would go to school with, that's all they were watching at home. So they were like, oh, like you're this. So you must act like that. Oh, you guys eat this at home. I'm just like, I don't I don't get it. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, real, real funny. But I'm like, yo, I, I actually don't know what you're talking about. Every race has their issues. So there are things that could be called out. But it's like, it's so one-sided from what I see on the internet of black men. They're just like, yo, black women are this or that. And then, and then, and then. I'm like, yo, number one, it's not a monolith. You can't like paint all of them because there's so many cultures. You got all these countries in Africa. Then you have American black women, which there are many tiers of social class, what have you. You know, so it's like to paint all these women one with one brush is, is ridiculous. I'm just like, yo. I understand that whole grass is greener. I feel the same way about black chicks, how most black American men feel about white chicks. Black men that didn't grow up around no white chicks, it's so glamorous to them. It's like a, an exclusive thing, an unattainable thing. It's so exotic to them, right? And I feel the same way about black women because I didn't grow up around black women. And a lot of these men, a lot of these black men, I'll call, I'll call them males, a lot of these black males, they're not necessarily men a lot of them they're bending over backwards for these white chicks right they're bending like yo just because something that they're not used to right that they're so interested in attaining whereas i feel the same way about black chicks because i don't see anybody i would do almost anything for a black chick like for me it's like oh wow a black chick like i'm gonna try and impress her <laughs> i know that that must be how these niggas feel when they when they trying to pull a white girl, I'm just like, I, I didn't grow up around any any black chicks, so I'm just like, yo, I see a black chick, I'm like, yo, what can I do to get this girl? And yo, this is what this is what dudes be doing with these white chicks, bowing down. Y'all come and solve some of the hardest dudes. I don't care if they're gangster or they, you know, they on some other yo. These dudes for a white chick, all of a sudden, all rules out the window. I, yo, I've seen so much, like, within my community, I've seen, like, women, older women that they don't put up with nothing, right? But their son will bring a white chick over, and all of a sudden, the white chick, her feet are on the coffee table. She's freaking vaping in the house. I'm just like, yo, this is wild. This is wild, right? I'm seeing this stuff firsthand. And... <laughs> That's what happens when you have the scarcity. This is the scarcity of the white chicks. The scarcity of the white chicks pushes these black men to, to go ham. And I see it day in, day out. And I know, I understand the psychology because, again, that's how I feel about black women. I'm like, yo, a black chick, like, what like what can I do? Like, I've been with a couple black chicks and they were chill as hell. Yo, they were some of the coolest girls i ever seen. And I've been with... White girls, too. I'm not saying that they weren't chill. I've been with some real chill white girls. But a lot of them, they, they like, looking for this weak black male. Why these chicks be acting a fool is because the males that they are dealing with are not used to being with a white chick. Like, I made a YouTube short where I'm, like, the only white girls I go for are the racist ones. And, yo, people came for me in the comments. People were DMing me, whatever. And just to elaborate on that is because not all, but for the most part, these girls that say, oh, they like black men and this and that. I'm like, yo, for the most part, I'm not, I'm not saying all, I'm not generalizing, but 
many of these chicks, they're rejects in the white community. <laughs> the white men don't want them. Or they have a certain temperament that white men are like, yo, this chick's like a bit too wild, whatever. And they're like, yo, I'm going to go for the black man because the black man will go for anything. I mean, look, like a lot of these stereotypes where they're like, oh, black men are always with a fat white girl and this and that. Where do you think these stereotypes come from? Because people are noticing. You can't get angry at people noticing, right? I'm sure all y'all watching this, this video right now have noticed this, that a lot of black men date way under their looks level. They are not looks matched with their partner of another race. When black men get with another race, you see all type of violations, all type of violations, right? So I'm not, I don't got nothing against big girls. I'm just saying there's a pattern. These dudes and the ones that do got some good looking chicks, a lot of the time are like very elite men or this or that. And a lot of people would argue, well, you know, they could have almost any woman that they that they want because they're at a certain status level, you know, whatever. But I'm just saying, you notice that a lot where the black men are not getting the pick of litter. And even in, you'll see online, people are echoing that. You see, these are stereotypical jokes. Like I'll, I'll meet a new dude, like I'll meet just a random dude, white guy, and we'll see some chick and he'll be like, oh, there's a good one for you. And it's a big white girl because it's like, this is known. So don't gaslight me in the comments being like, oh, hey, the generalization. This is known. Everyone knows this. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to go through life minding my, like, we know this. You got the memes with the, with the black dude, with the very old, super overweight white chick. And, and the text of the meme is like, oh, he's from Africa. He needs a green card or something, you know? Like, this is known. Don't crucify me for repeating what is known, all right? So, black men are not going for the pick of the litter because they are lowering their standards in order to get with the snow. They're so happy to get with the snow, they'll take, they'll take almost anything. Whereas I didn't grow up like that. So a lot of these women, not all, but many of these women, they've kind of conditioned themselves to go for that because they're like, yo, it could be behavior, it could be looks, whatever. Then they decide they like black men. Young Pharaoh being a perfect example of a man who had a scarcity of white chicks who decided that he's gonna go for exclusively white because he got money and he got clout. Nearly your ass for a white girl. And look what happened. And I'm not blaming the white chick. I'm not blaming nobody because he's a grown man and obviously he should be held accountable for his own actions. But I'm just saying it's a very interesting coincidence of timeline where he says, I'm done with black chicks, I'm done with the black community. And all of a sudden, this chick was sent, or I don't know where she came from. And next thing you know, Pharaoh is crashing out on the internet. Yo, all y'all conscious black men, like, be careful out there. And just keep a watchful eye. And if you grew up in one of these communities where there's a scarcity of white chicks, yo, there are a lot of great white chicks. Don't get me wrong. But don't just hop on the first one. Don't pull a young Pharaoh, all right? Look at his life. Look what happened. This guy made hundreds of thousands of dollars. He was worth, at one point potentially two million dollars you had a brand new vet he went and got a vet he was getting jury you know in real african-american fashion doing his conspicuous consumption yeah he's got to show all his money at all times of course always observe right don't just get all excited because once you get once you got money yo chicks will be coming out the woodworks and they'll be hopping on you so don't forget boys you don't get old you can just go broke Yeah.